So this question is, three calculators and four books cost $23, and two calculators and three books cost $16. Solve for the price of one calculator and one book. So we could say, let one calculator be X and one book be Y. So we write this and then we're going to create the equation. So we say 3X because one calculator is X. So 3X and will be plus. So plus four books and a book is y so four books will be 4y is equal to 23 and now we're going on to the second equation so it'll be two calculators and one calculator is x so then two calculators will be 2x plus we have three books so one book is y so three books will be 3y is equal to 16. so these are our two equations and now that we have two equations we can begin the first step in any um, simultaneous equations will be to label the equations. So we're going to say let 3x plus 4y equal 23 be equation 1. Now you're probably wondering like, why is this step necessary? Well, it's basically to make it easy uh, for us to write down our steps so the examiners can follow it easily. So step two is to consider one of the equations and find one variable. So the equation one is 3x plus 4y equals 23 and equation two is 2x plus 3y equals 16. So this step we're going to choose one of these equations and we're going to find one variable. So I think I will choose equation one and I will find for a variable x. So let's just say 3x plus 4y is equal to 23. So we're going to use equation 1 to find x. So what we're going to do, when we want to find x or find any variable, we want that variable, so I want x, on one side of the equal sign and everything else on the next side. So we're going to carry across the 4y to this side and we're going to carry across the 3 to this side. Now, an important rule to notice is that whenever we carry something across to the other side of the equal sign, we do the opposite. So here, we are adding 4y. So we're going to carry across the 4y. If we add on this side, we're going to do the opposite, so we're going to minus on this side. So it's going to be 3x is equal to 23 minus 4y. Yeah. So we have 3x is equal to 23 minus 4y, but we just want x. We don't want the tree guys, so we're going to carry across the tree too. So if we carry across the tree, we're going to have to do the opposite. So here, we're multiplying by tree. So if we carry it across, we're going to divide. So it will be x is equal to 23 minus 4y divided by tree. So now we have the value of x. The value of x is equal to 23 minus 4y divided by 3. So the next step is to plug the, val the variable found into the other equation and find the unknown. So we used equation 1 and we found x. So now what we want to do is we're going to put in the value of x into equation 2. So we found x to be x is equal to 23 minus 4y all over 3. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say let x equals 23 minus 4y over 3 be in equation. So we're going to say 2 and we're going to substitute the x so it'll be 23 minus 4y over 3 plus 3y is equal to 60. So we just substituted this value into the second equation. So now we have to find the unknown variable. So we don't know what y is, so we're going to find out what y is. But before we do that, let's simplify this. Right? So first, let's get rid of the brackets. So to get rid of the brackets, we will multiply. So when we multiply it, we're going to multiply 2 by 23 and 2 by minus 4 by 12 over 3. So it's going to be 2 by 23 is 3 to the 6, which is 46, minus, because we have a minus sign always remember, and a minus times a positive is a minus, so we minus 4 2 is a 8y all over 3, we can't forget the denominator, plus 3y is equal to 16. 
Now it's looking nice though, but it's not as beautiful as I would like it yet. Let's get rid of this tree. So if we multiply this by 3, this tree will cancel out this tree and we'll be left with 46 minus 8 y. Yeah? But if we multiply this by 3, we're gonna have to multiply absolutely everything else by 3. So we're gonna multiply this by 3. And we're gonna multiply this by 3. So 3 trees are 9 and the plus sign, so positive 9y is equal to 16 times 3. 6 trees are 80 and 4. 48. So we're gonna have 46 minus 8y plus 9y is equal to 48. So now that it looks nice though, what we have to do is we're gonna have to find the unknown variable. So we're gonna have to find y. And remember when I said when we want to find something, we want that variable. So we want y on one side and we want everything else on the other side of the equal sign. So let's carry across the 46 piece. So remember when I said we're carrying across, we're gonna do the opposite. So this is positive here. So the opposite will be negative. So we're gonna put eight minus 8y eight plus 9y is equal to 48 and we carry it across to 46, so it will be minus 46. Yeah. So then minus 8y plus 9y will give us y. 9 minus 8 is 1. And then we have 48 minus 46 is 2. So we have y is equal to 2. So we have a specific number for y. So y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2, we're going to plug it into the next equation and try to find a specific number of x. So yeah, we know what x is, but we, we only know it as a weird looking fraction. We want a specific, nice, cute little number, just like a 2. Yeah? 